Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News. Coming up, councillors agree to spend £150,000 on a public inquiry into Lyd Airport expansion plans and a 16-year-old has become one of the youngest solo channel swimmers. But first, more than 60 babies have been born in East Kent hospitals addicted to drugs like heroin and cocaine in the past year. Over half of the babies were born here in Ashford, but there has been a reduction in the number that have started life addicted to drugs. Newborns from drug-dependent mothers can be smaller than the average, jittery and suffer from fits. Shepway councillors have agreed to spend £150,000 of taxpayers' cash on a public inquiry into Lyd Airport. The controversial expansion plans for the airport were voted through in March, but now the council's being asked to prove it was the right decision. Opponents say it's a waste of public cash, but the council argues it enables them to employ the best experts. Meanwhile, bosses at Manston have applied to operate night flights from the Thanet Airport. Infratil, which owns the airport, wants flights to be able to take off and land between 11pm and 7 in the morning. Thanet District Council says it will carry out a public consultation on the plans and provide advice to local people about how they could be affected. And finally, a schoolgirl celebrating after becoming one of the youngest to swim the channel. Abby taylor Bapti was met by proud friends and family when she arrived back. She completed the swim in 15 hours and 43 minutes, just nine days after her 16th birthday. That's the minimum age for those who want to make a solo crossing. Messages from supporters were read to her while she swam to help her complete the challenge. I've wanted to do it since I was about five. I told my gran one day that I was going to do it and then I did. <laughs> There's more news from Kent on KMFM. That's it. You're up to date.